is this? San Francisco's efforts to take control of the years-long crisis in the tenderloin. Last. Speaking of tenderloin. Mm. San Francisco's efforts to take control of the years-long crisis in the Tenderloin. We've shown you how out outreach efforts are trying to connect the homeless and the addicted to help. But Mayor London Breed has also promised more order in the streets. We as a city, we need to take a harder stance on going after uh, the conditions of what's happening in this particular neighborhood where we have a large number of families and children and immigrants and people who own businesses who are just trying to make a living and survive in San Francisco. We can do better than this and we're going to continue to try. And that now includes a stepped up fight against the neighborhood's sprawling open air drug market. Wilson Walker continues our update on the Tenderloin where arrests there are up. Yeah, well, there was a lot of discussion and debate mm -hmm. back at the start of 2022 at what was described to be a, a change of posture by the mayor and an, uh, and an enforcement on drug dealing, but that never really materialized. And now there is a different, different, excuse me, a different district attorney, and she is working with police to get more aggressive. Uh, I've been here 40 years. No kidding. No, I, I wish I was kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just recently, I, I, I really would like to be able to get out of San Francisco, but I got housing now. And I, <laughs> After 40 oh, years in the neighborhood, Kirk Sorry, Gordon finally has a stable home, as well as some tenderloin frustrations. One of them is the city's inability to get more people into housing. And the other is the neighborhood's notorious open air drug market. Finally, the police, I, I guess uh, she just given them the OK, because all of a sudden they've been they've been throwing a lot of rest. I, I see him blocking off and running these uh, uh, the dope dealers to different corners. Extra baggies, more fentanyl. A typical bust made by a six member undercover team launched in November and just days later, more arrests at the very same corner. Do you speak English? Oh, you're Spanish? Yeah. There are new rules. A uniformed officer must be on hand, but it's not slowing them down. At the start of April, Tenderloin Station had made 217 arrests, putting them on pace to pass last year's total by more than 50%. We have recovered triple the amount of uh, drugs year to date as opposed to last year. Um, we have charged almost double the amount of cases in the period since I took over compared with that period the previous year. You go ahead, sister. You go ahead, you, you recovering, mammy. You, you go ahead, man. I'm proud of you, man. Um, keep up your recovery, man. Don't, um, don't relapse, man. <laughs> the sooner, here's the thing, though. All it takes is one interaction where those motherfuckers got to rough somebody up or somebody runs and they got to fucking chase him down and wrestle with him. And some fucking guy pulls out his camera and shit goes viral. And all this shit is done. That's all it takes now. One viral video. But I'm proud of you recovering, mammy. In the period since I took over, compared with that period the previous year. District Attorney Brooke Jenkins began her tenure by coming to this neighborhood and promising action against drug dealing. And while the busts are really old fashioned police work, they are hitting challenges. Complaints were filed against one officer alleging he was unfairly targeting Latinos. <laughs> well, what if the Latinos are the ones out there selling drugs? What if it's what if it's Latinos? What if it's mostly Latinos out there selling drugs? That's too deep, Oc. It's, it's, it's fucking it's mind numbing. So, well, that's, a, that's a shocker that Latinos might be running drugs, <laughs> right? Especially in California, man. Lincoln. While the busts are really old-fashioned police work, they are hitting challenges. Complaints were filed against one officer alleging he was unfairly targeting Latinos. Officers say they are simply targeting fentanyl and problematic corners. And as for prosecutors, their drug cases are just now reaching courtrooms. And the first two ended with hung juries. The defense that was offered in both of those cases is that uh, the, the defendant had been trafficked. Um, and that's why they were selling narcotics. This is a new issue. Wow. Um, so the first two cases ended in hung juries because 
the defendant said that they were being trafficked. Ah, so that's that's like if you do anything wrong, that's I'm being a trafficked. Defense, man. You're being, I'm trafficked. being trafficked. I mean, it probably only works if you're an ombrito. Because I well, mean, you, I can't say I'm being trafficked. I'm a citizen. Yeah, you were trafficked uh, 400 years ago, though. That's true. True indeed. When I was handling drug dealing cases five years ago, uh, there was no allegation that anyone was being trafficked. So it's something that we are having to adapt to rapidly. Now ask around in the areas where police are working, mm -hmm. and it is not hard to find those who say the arrival. Damn, they got the whole block. Of, they got everybody shit out there. Damn. And it is not hard to find those who say the arrival of just a stepped up presence is long overdue. Uh, um, we have tried to con the we have tried to con the police um, uh, many times, but uh, before uh, sometimes they come, but some she's been here for 50 years. That's the shit about you, you tigers. It don't matter, <laughs> it don't matter how long y'all been here, y'all sound the same, man. A tiger sound like a tiger was this woman has a fucking travel agency in fucking America and shit. And she sound like she literally just learned to speak English three hours ago. And it is not hard to find those who say the arrival of just a stepped up presence is long overdue. Uh, um, we have tried to con the we have tried to con the police um, uh, many times, but uh, before uh, sometimes they come, but sometimes they not. So that's why uh, right now it's really better the police on the streets right now. They are. Last year we heard from neighbors who said that civilian patrols like Urban Alchemy only pushed issues around the neighborhood, and now with the targeted police patrols. They move them all the way up to Post Street almost. So they move them block to block or they move them around the block. We'll meet up station. If you haven't addressed the underlying causes and reasons that folks are out there dealing. You have Fuck your underlying causes and reasons, you prick. Get these fuckers from out in front of my parents' house or out in front of my store or wherever the fuck. Fuck your underlying causes and reasons. That's just a way to kick the can down the fucking... So they, they, all right, now you got to fucking let these fucking crackheads hang out in front of your fucking business while he tries to figure out the underlying reason. No, no, needs, that's, that's spoken like a guy who's got his cousin's got some some uh, nonprofit who's exactly. uh, he's funneling a couple million bucks into every year. Exactly. Exactly. Fuck all that. Get these fucking crackheads from in front of my store. Fucking piece of shit. I hate these fuckers. <laughs> On the block. If you haven't addressed the underlying causes and reasons that folks are out there dealing, if you haven't invested in the community, uh, you're just moving people around. Even though the sellers may move around and others engage in criminal activity, we're going to stay on top of them and on top of what they're doing regardless of where they go. So police are making more arrests, taking on a wave of drug dealers. The results in the justice system and in the neighborhood remain to be seen. Police don't make, uh, uh, they need to make more walking, you know, uh, walking around. Uh, uh, at least scare these guys, you know. Now, last night we talked about the effort to get help to people living on the street and how those, those results will take time to measure. Well, the same might go for police. Engaging effectiveness there may take time as well. But one thing that has not changed from last year, people in that neighborhood want and deserve some changes, and we will be talking more about all of this on... Jeez, San Francisco is a shithole. Goddamn shithole. They're about, to get on, they're about to get that on the Upper West Side, man. They're starting to move all these homeless people and, and drug addicts into, um, into uh, these crappy hotels that they have up there. And... Mm. Uh, and the Upper West Side is really an expensive area. Really, and they have they have this one thing next to a school where they'll be able to have like you know like 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 sex offenders and stuff. What? <laughs> Literally, they, they're having this one shelter where it's being run by this crazy left wing organization, so that they don't do any vetting at all of the people that they put in the shelter. 
So in other words, they, they could be child molesters in there, whatever, and it's like right next to two schools. Mm. 